I remember the moment I found out where babies come from. I remember the exact moment I found out where babies come from. I was four years old. I was in the back of my parents' car. My dad was driving. This is driving. Uh, <laughs> this is not how I found out. Uh, <laughs> come on. My dad was driving. Mom was in the passenger seat. And I, and I just had that, I had that existential crisis that a kid has, you know? The first time you become aware, like, I was not before and now I am. So I blurt out, where do babies come from? My dad's like, I'll field this one. <laughs> well, men have a penis and ladies have a vagina. And a man puts his penis in the vagina. And a while later, a baby comes out. And I was like, OK. <laughs> Follow up question. <laughs> How far in does the man put his penis? <laughs> and my mom goes, I'll field this one. <laughs> Slowly she turned, looking sideways at my father. She goes, not very far. <laughs> so they divorced. <laughs> what do you tell your kids if you're a fetishist, right? What if you're a fetishist? What do you tell your kids, huh? And there, by the way, there's nothing wrong with being a fetishist, right? There's nothing wrong if you have a fetish. It's not like you plan it. You know, fetishes are just weird boner landmines that you trip over later in life, and you're like, oh, I guess that's what I like now. Like, you don't know where it comes from. Things happen when you're younger. No one tells you. It's not like your parents take you aside and go, remember that harness we put on you when you were learning how to walk? That's gonna come back later. <laughs> but I just imagine, like, a fetish is telling their kid, where do babies come from? Well, when a daddy loves a mommy very much, he dresses like a bear and eats honey out of her butt. <laughs> <laughs>